The lake is really the heart of this community. I mean, every community has a, something that they're built around. Sanford was built around that lake, and it's, when it, with it gone, it just you know ripped the heart out of the community. All holidays, summers, of course, we came up here. Christmas, we were up here. Needless to say, we did most of the time was in the water. We moved to Sanford about 15 years ago, and uh, my daughter lives on the lake, uh, and this is our home. My um, son is a, a handicapped adult, and so this, this lot had little enough slope to it that we could get him down to the waterfront and back. Uh, my son is... Um, is unable to swim, but he loves to ride on the boat. So it's been a family journey, really, for us. So Pat and I have lived here 40 years, and we raised three children. It's really the time we spend up here with family and friends, plus the fishing that I do. I like that, too. The history of our family at the lake is uh, pretty long. My mom and dad have been here most of their life. I've been raised here. My kids, all our nieces and nephews, this is just home. Today, the Edenville and Sanford dams in Midland County breached. Residents in the area have been instructed to evacuate immediately. Please, get somewhere safe now. This is serious and it is time for people to take action to keep themselves safe and to evacuate. Stay updated and please get somewhere safe. Somewhere safe. Somewhere safe. We kind of thought everything was going to be under control. And then the next day came and fire trucks were running up and down the streets, horns blowing, uh, speakers, they had recordings, get out, get out, get out, get out. The day that the dam failure, it was one of those, just when you think things couldn't get any worse. And um, we heard the sirens go and we just, it was in disbelief. I'm surprised that there's anything left, anything going on in the town of Sanford. The main bridge going into town is owned by the village. They are um, getting help from the state, but they have to match funds up to $3 million. They have a budget of $500,000, and they've lost 31 properties in town. So how that village is gonna come back, I'm not sure. We need the businesses to come back and uh, I just hope for a brighter future. Shortly after the, uh, the dam broke and we dealt with whatever flood issues we had to deal with in Midland, we gave him the news that the lake had been drained and it wasn't there anymore. That was hard for him. Still hard for me too. He, um, he broke down in tears. <clears throat> and uh, we, um, we hate to see him that way, but he loved it so much that um, it was a real problem for him. <laughs> Still a problem for me, as you can see. It was sad. Um, we got to a point where we knew we were gonna lose everything. It's just why we moved here. It was what we fell in love with in Sanford, and then, of course, we fell in love with a little town, which is <laughs> devastated, washed away. Well, it's, it's like a, almost a, an out-of-body situation. You just can't believe that this is happening. This, these dams have been here for over 100 years. Well, I, it's gone. 
my home is gone, um, uh, the car is gone. So, yeah, it's... Now, just being at home, there's no sound of boats or um, people going by laughing and playing and just having fun, just enjoying their family. So for us, um, it wasn't a lake or our home value, it was our family memories and our friend memories. It's still just a beautiful place, but there's no water. And um, without that water, this area isn't going to survive. I had no idea that it, it would look like an arid desert. I, you know, who could have imagined that? <laughs> but, you know, we have hope. We have hope that things will return and that the dams will be restructured and we've learned patience because we know it's going to take a long time but it's worth it because this is our home this is our life and we love it here I'm very thankful for the Four Lakes Task Force, and I do believe they are the entity to get us there. The mission of the task force is to acquire the lakes, improve them, and now recover those lakes, and make sure they're sustainable and safe for the public, for our community, and for the environment. What needs to happen, of course, is to have the Four Lakes Task Force uh, be able to get control of these dams so they can start initiating the repairs. The Four Lakes Task Force is just an incredible entity. I've had a chance to learn more about it. They have the specific talent, whether you're looking at finance, engineering, legal talent that you need to maneuver through all these things, political pull. And without them, I feel we would have more challenges to make this happen. We all recognize that we can't do it by ourselves for one lake. We have to be united. It's a one river flow for Four Lakes. The ultimate goal is bring back the lakes to a safe position that all of us can use. A lot of people don't realize the Four Lakes Task Force is citizens from the lakes. The economic impact is, is really in two ways. The first one is for the businesses. Gladwin normally has about 28,000 people in the county. In the summers, we boost up to 66,000 people. And a lot of them are on these four lakes. So these are people that may not be coming up regularly now and going into town and doing business, going to restaurants, going into hardware stores. It's important that the lake is restored because right now the economy is going to be destroyed if these property values drop. And, you know, we've got a great school system here, but a great school system takes a lot of money to operate. So what do you tell kids that are going to Meridian? What do you tell, you know, parents that are sending their kids to, to the Gladwin schools? You know what? We don't have that revenue. We can't provide that competitive advantage for your child because we don't have, you know, we don't have the revenue that we used to. These lakes bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue, good jobs, and support a strong tax base for our region. We stand with the community's desire to restore these precious resources safely with the right technology and the right oversight to strengthen the economic vibrancy of our region. We have a strong community and we have strong people in our community that care and our ultimate hope and goal is to get our lakes back and to solidify our infrastructure and, and make everything safe. If we don't get involved, nobody else is gonna bring these back. It's really a requirement on the community to step up first and help everybody else follow us.